read chapters 9 and 10, you were thinking about which survival skills Brian used. Let's remember from our little article titled, What Would Peter Do? The author Peter suggested eight tokens of suggestions in which people should live by when they find themselves in an unfortunate situation out in the wild. My first thought whenever I was reading chapter 9, I thought about number 7. So number 7 is be ready to deal with fear and panic. And where it says take a moment, calm down. And I see that number 7 can be applied to this scene when Brian is trying to set a fire, he can't. He gets frustrated and he gets upset. But he takes a step away. He thinks about it. And then he's able to look beyond the paper to the trees to the bark. Then he made his ball of fluff. He was trying to figure out what would start the fire. He had to think about the oxygen. And eventually, he was able to get fire. Okay, so he he got fire. Once he assessed the situation, he put number seven into practice. The result was very, very good for him. I see that he uses point number three when always carry a means for shelter. This one where it says fire starting aids you need that. So he's able to start a fire. So he does put three into practice because he had his hatchet and he was actually able to use that hatchet to start the fire. So I'm going to think and I'm going to say that he used number three in this situation. Then we move on. He even thinks about his parents and there is some joy in his life. He keeps faith. He has a moment of happiness and a moment of time where he reflects on his parents. He's smiling and he's wondering what they're doing. So he had a moment where he celebrated and he was happy. All things were not that grim in the whole scheme of things. So let's move on to chapter 10. And you can see that so we have the part where he finds the eggs and I assigned number two and number eight to the scenario where he found the eggs. Um, number two is that he had stored them in the shelter and eat one a day. So that shows me that he's, he's planning ahead. <clears throat> he's just not eating them all at once like he wanted to. He realized that you need to not be in denial and you need to have a plan B. So we see that Brian used quite a few of... Peter's suggestions in chapters 9 and 10. Which ones did you find? Which ones did you see?